Hi, this is Dr. Kurt Wohler from AutismRecoverySystem.com. The title of this short video is Why It's Important to Do an Organic Acids Test Before Using General Amino Acid Supplements. Great Plains Laboratory offers an organic acids test. Organic acids are compounds that are measured in the urine that give an indication of some type of metabolic toxicity in the body uh, and other indicators of nutritional imbalance. There are other companies who do organic acid testing too. My preference is the organic acids test, however, from Great Plains Laboratory. On page one of the organic acids, on the, of the organic acids test uh, towards the bottom, there's a section for, for bacterial and clostridia bacteria markers. Now, specifically related to clostridia bacteria, which are highly pathogenic bacteria, many of them, there are certain compounds that can get produced that are extremely toxic within the human body. What you'll notice on this particular test is number 15, 16, and 17 are all elevated. 16 and 17 specifically tend to show up very commonly on organic acid testing. About one in four, one or five tests will have some elevation of a clostridia bacteria. Why that's important is that these two particular compounds, one called 4-creosol, the other HPHPA, can be produced by different Clostridia bacteria, including Clostridia difficile. As you'll notice on this particular slide, Clostridia difficile will take the amino acid tyrosine and convert it into 4-creosol. Other species of Clostridia, one of them specifically is Clostridia botulinum, will take the amino acid phenylalanine and produce a chemical HPHPA. Both these chemicals can be evaluated on the organic acid test. Why it's important is that these two chemicals are known biochemically to inhibit this enzyme called dopamine beta hydroxylase. Dopamine beta hydroxylase is what converts dopamine to norepinephrine. Now we need that for attention and focusing and balance within the nervous system. But when we have too much dopamine that starts to build up within the brain and nervous system, it can have significant consequences. Excess dopamine, whether it's in a child, teenager, or adult, and this is video specifically with regards to individuals with autism, elevated dopamine can actually lead to aggressive behavior, self-injurious behavior, irritability. In extreme cases, it can uh, lead to extreme behavioral problems. Uh, in addition to autism, it, you know, elevated levels of dopamine in certain individuals have been known to trigger acute psychosis. The problem is, is that dopamine is a very highly reactive chemical. It breaks down into a chemical called dopamine oquinone. Our body needs adequate amounts of antioxidants to help neutralize this chemical. In autism, it's already known that the main antioxidant called glutathione is often deficient. So if we have ever uh, levels of dopamine rising within the nervous system, we can start to have elevated levels of dopamine oquinone and that itself can lead to a depletion of glutathione over time, which compromises the ability to detoxify, whether that's detoxify heavy metals, detoxify chemicals, or other internal chemicals that get produced within the body. The breakdown products of dopamine also cause neurodegeneration. So this isn't just important for individuals with autism, it's important for other individuals with neurological uh, conditions as well. In some individuals, the levels are extremely high. This is a particular person who has a 4-creosol level over 1100, which is extremely elevated. We also see an elevation of this other chemical here, 
4-hydroxyphenylacetic, which is also a problem. Both of these chemicals, by the way, can be produced by C. difficile. And the problem is, again, is that these chemicals can inhibit that dopamine enzyme. And on the organic acids test, this is on the bottom of page two, we see this elevation of this marker linked to dopamine called homovanillic acid. In this particular case, it's extremely elevated. So this person's dopamine beta hydroxylase enzyme is being compromised, causing an elevation of dopamine. Any amino acid supplement, whether it's bought at a health food store, bought online, that contains phenylalanine and tyrosine in the presence of these clostridia toxins could be problematic. I'm not stating it would always be in every single case, or that taking amino acids like phenyl phenylalanine or tyrosine are inherently dangerous. But what is possible to happen biochemically when those clostridia bacteria markers are elevated, that using more of these amino acids could potentially worsen the situation. And again, we're talking about 4-creosol in HPHPA, right? The tyrosine gets used to make creosol, the phenylalanine gets used to make the, four, uh, the HPHPA, in the presence of these clostridia bacteria. So in my experience, it's just a good idea to do the organic acids test prior to using you know, amino acid supplements that have tyrosine or phenylalanine in them, just to make sure that you are not dealing with those clostridia toxins. LabTestPlus.com is a comprehensive website that offers a wide variety of different types of testing, including the organic acids test from Great Plains Lab. You can go to labtestplus.com, look at the menu of tests that are offered, and when labs are ordered through labtestplus.com, there is a written review analysis that is provided that will go through the pertinent markers and indicate you know, what those markers mean, and then certain action step suggestions that uh, can be implemented if desired. AutismRecoverySystem.com is a very comprehensive website that allows parents and caregivers of individuals with autism to access a wide variety of information regarding biomedical intervention. You can get a free ebook called Seven Facts You Need to Know About Autism just by going to AutismRecoverySystem.com. Within the AutismRecoverySystem.com site, there is uh, something called the Autism Recovery 101 course, which I'll talk about here shortly. There is a private forum where you can post questions uh, that I answer on a daily basis. There are articles, there are videos, there are case studies. There's resource um, center for additional information, a host of other educational information as well. We also have a Facebook page at Autism Recovery System that you can follow us on Facebook. Within the AutismRecoverySystem.com site, there is a biomedical course. It's over 10 hours of lectures and videos, case studies, etc., on the use of biomedical intervention for autism. It's broken into six modules. Again, this is Dr. Kurt Wohler for AutismRecoverySystem.com. Thank you.